Okay, so in this demo I'll show the flexibility of Drills Planner's score calculation. So we're looking here at uh, the vehicle routing problem and in this instance we're going to try to optimize the distance traveled by the vehicle. So uh, try to minimize that. So we have a factory right here in the middle and we have a couple of cust customers in this region and we need to deliver items to those customers. So we'll send out trucks, we have six trucks, so we'll send out for example the green truck from the factory to over here, to this customer, then to this customer, and to then to this customer, and so forth. Now each of the trucks can only carry 100 items, so and each of the customers needs a number of items, so for example this customer needs 7 items, this one needs 21 items, so we need to make, make sure that um, the trucks don't have to carry more items than that they uh, are able to, that they're than their capacity. Now, uh, let's see what happens if we try this from scratch. So, uh, here is the initialized version, and let's try to ask Planner give me uh, a good solution there. So, here we go. Now, Planner starts, and as we give it more time, it finds a better and better solution, of course, until, if, uh, until it uh, finds the best one, right? Um, now, uh, as you can see, we try to minimize the distance, um, but that might not be the thing we want to do. Maybe we, we want to optimize the time, minimize the time instead of the distance. And um, these are quite the same, but there's there's a difference. So let's stop this. And let's take a look at a slightly uh, different variant of this problem. In this variant, we're not going to, uh, in this uh, version, we're not going to look at the distance, but at the time. Uh, which is, uh, for easiness sake, being set the same as the distance, except for uh, when we have fast or slow ro uh, roads. So for example, from this customer to this customer, there's a slow road, uh, this because this road is red, and uh, it will cost him much more time to travel that uh, road um, than just merely its distance. Um, and there's also fast routes, uh, roads. Uh, this is a, this is a fast road, so the orange are fast. So we have two fast roads and we have two slow roads. And as you can see over here, it's uh, of course this uh, road which is slow. So he'll try to avoid that, right? So let's see what happens. Now, um, as planner uh, is solving this, you can see it avoids these ro uh, slow roads, and it uh, prefers these fast ro roads even so that it, it causes it that this truck uh, that the optimal solution is to actually cross its own path over here because this is a fast road from here to over there. Of course in real world the data might might have fast road from here to over there too of course if this is fast and so forth um, and, and we'll get a slightly different solution but this is a test case of course right. Now um, as you can see uh, by uh, taking those faster routes uh, it actually saved uh, some some time right uh, as if it would not have done that. Uh, and it actually it would have been more than 743 because these uh, slow roads which have cost them far more. Um, so this is of course uh, a better way to do it this way if this is your uh, optimization criteria. But um, just to show you the flexibility a little bit more I'm going to show I'm going to get some code on top of this. So uh, here are the score rules which basically say so we have this this first one which checks the capacity that all the vehicles can carry all of the items that they need to deliver and we have uh, these two to make sure that the first one is to count the distance uh, or the time uh, actually sorry the time in this uh, in this case we're looking at this version so over here so uh, to count the time and the second one is to count the time to get back to uh, our depot so back to the, the factory actually so what happens if we actually comment this out and for easiness, I'm also going to comment it out uh, in the um, in the GUI. And let's see what happens if we start this up. Here we go. And let's put that over here. Okay. And we solve it again. So now the vehicles uh, don't don't have to come home. Uh, I d didn't draw it and I also didn't calculate it in the score. So as you can see, uh, let me just make it a little bit more clear, here we go. As you can see the vehicles are now no longer coming home and sometimes that g basically gives the same path as you can see here. It's basically, it's oh, it's not uh, yeah, exactly the same, it's a similar path. Here is actually the same one for this green one. But sometimes it gives a radically different path. So for example this one 
ends up over here but it doesn't have to come home so that's a good uh, path to do that and as you can see see it still prefers those fast ro roads and avoids those slow roads of course right 